Hey everyone, my name is Master Mind, bringing you a brand new video, and we have three new fighters that that was released earlier today. Um, we got Andre Olovsky in the heavyweight division. We got Miles Jury in the welterweight division, and we have um, Yoel Romero in the middleweight division. So uh, I'm gonna try to get a fight with all three of these guys in this particular video, and I'm gonna try to do it all live. So first of all, let's try to. I'm just gonna um, check all of them, and whichever one comes first, I'm gonna try to get a fight with them. Um, I have used all three fighters, and I will say that EA did an amazing job on all three fighters. Oh, look at that! We got Andre Olovsky. Now I'm not very happy with his stamina. 56 57 now it's not the worst in the in the division but i believe that andre is supposed to have a much better endurance than what he has right here but apart from that if you use him like he's supposed to be used you can definitely compete he has a lot of power um he's his strikes are very fluid he's a big guy so and uh, he has some really good um, abilities as well. Heavy-handed, fluidity, that's my favorite one. His strikes are just fluid when you throw them. So let's get this fight on the way. Yeah, I'm really, really happy with what EA did with those three fighters. Um, none of them have the annoying, crazy, winded-up punches. Those, those power shots that take forever to throw. None of these fighters have them. Um, all their strikes are very fluid. Turn down this TV. We don't want the volume bleeding in. So it looks like we're going up against Stipe Miocic, who does have a stamina advantage. So we're not going to go punch for punch with Stipe. I'm going to pick my shots and uh, see how long this fight goes. Who am I fighting? Affliction 6-6. Six, six. Use good movement. Try to. Okay. <laughs> He's winging. He's winging. So I love the way Andre Olovsky looks. He's he's huge. He's big. Nice shorts too. Got him with that one. Got me with a leg kick. Superman punch. Get out the way. Got him with that leg kick. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get a stamina down to a level where we're gonna be on the same playing field where I can control it. Right now it's kinda low. Uh and this fight's over. You can't let your stamina get low like that. You just you can't do it. You cannot do that. Especially in the heavyweight division. It does not take much. And you will get knocked out. Fight over. Let's move on to the next one. Um, let's see. So we've done the heavyweight. We've done Olovsky. We're going to try to get a fight with uh, Yoel Romero or the other guy. And sorry I kind of sound out of it in this video. I'm, I'm a little tired. It's been a long day. It's been a pretty long day. Get me in a fight. Come on, get me in a fight. Sometimes this takes forever. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Okay, so we're going to go find Yoel. The soldier of God. Where is he? There he is. 37 years old, 6 foot. His height is not the best because you'll be going up against taller fighters in the light heavyweight and middleweight division probably. But um, I like his speed. His punches are fluid. Um, his takedown defense is really good. Really, really good. His takedowns are good as well. Um, his stamina and endurance, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. It's not bad. Chin, not bad. Crushing presence, 
force of nature, work horse, wake up call. I like that one. That's when you gain increased stamina and recovery when you're hurt. Now, I've experienced this firsthand while using your well Romero and it really it really comes in handy especially when you get rocked so hopefully we get a good fight hopefully we don't get a mirror match I don't want to do a mirror match right now and hopefully I don't get a John Jones either now I will use Yoel Romero like a mix oh boy Oh boy, catching up to John Jones might be a problem, so I'm gonna use this guy like a real mixed martial artist. If I see a takedown, I'm gonna go for it, and I'm gonna try to finish him on the ground. If I see an opening on the feet, I'm gonna take it as well. I'm just, I'm not gonna force anything with this one, and I'm, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna let him waste his stamina a little bit, because all these John Jones users that like doing that. Sorry, dude. Sorry I didn't touch your gloves. I was looking at your name. I didn't get to it. He's already doing it. He defended that one. Okay, I don't like this stance switching, so I'm going to go to Orthodox. Oh. He, this guy, he's going to get brutally finished. It's going to be brutal. Like, look at that. When when you see people doing that parrying like that, parrying crazy like that, they it it's just it's bad. You don't parry like that. Alright. I think I'm safe on the feet against this guy, so I'm gonna move in. I'm gonna move in. The problem is stamina. Ooh! Almost got him! I'm not going to let this guy run away from me. He's not respecting his stamina. He's not. We're not going to let him run away. See? He has no respect, no regard for his stamina. Fight over. See how fluid this guy felt? He, he's, just, he's amazing. I love him in this game. Now, I wouldn't say that... He will be my go-to guy or, you know, the guy that I use when I really, really want to compete. But, um, he's very usable. Very, very usable. He can compete with anyone in the, in the division. You just got to use him correctly. This John Jones that we faced, he was just, he was bad. Let's try to get the last one with Miles Jury. These fights have been going very quickly. Hopefully, we get a good opponent for Miles Jury. Miles Jury... Reminds me of uh, Nick Diaz in this game. He really does. He's five foot eleven. That's one inch from six foot. Um, he has long arms. His punches are extremely fluid. He's fast also. He's got really good submissions. He's just overall really good at the game. He can definitely compete with anyone in the welterweight and light and lightweight division. So hopefully we can get a fight. Oh, come on. Don't do this. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. There we go. There we go. Where is he? Oh, by the way, they also fixed um, a problem with Michael Chiesa and um, Hector Lombard. They have this problem with their back they have a they, they used to have this massive gigantic hunchback in the game but it's been fixed right now i actually had a video that i was planning on making that i was going to call um uh hunchback kiesa it was supposed to be a funny video just showcasing how inc incredibly ridiculous his back was in the game but i kind of scratched that video so I'm, I'm glad they fixed it i mean if you play with um if you play with Kiesa right now, you'll notice that his he stands a bit a bit more tall. What the hell just happened? <sighs> wasting time, my goodness, wasting time. This was supposed to be this was supposed to be fast. 
I don't know why that disconnected. I have no clue. It reminds me of the dreadful UFC Undisputed 3. I mean, that game was that game was really good when it comes to gameplay. There were a lot of things about the game that I really loved. The striking, the kickboxing, I enjoyed the clinch a lot. I also liked the ground game, but when it comes to online, the online aspect of it was atrocious, man. You could not get a fight. You get into a fight and before you know it, it just disconnects. You take someone down, it just lags out. You... I think this guy might have picked um, Jose Aldo. I think that's I think that's what he did. Whenever I see someone pick that quickly, it's either Jose Aldo or Anthony Pettis. I don't know. We'll see. But UFC on the Spirit Three had that problem, man. You would just lag out of fights. It's one thing, one good thing about. Oh. Am I just timing? He's talking. He's talking. I want, he's talking. I don't know what he's saying, but like, he's talking. Alright, I'm going to turn my TV down. Because I don't want this bleeding through the microphone. How many views did I get? 48. That's pretty good. I almost have an overall of 500 views. If I listen to um, this video back again and this guy's trash talking me, I might just turn my commentary down so you guys can listen to him talk. Yeah, but we'll see. So we're gonna we're gonna go against Carlos Condit and hopefully this Condit plays like he has a brain in his head. Who are we fighting? I don't know who that guy is. Touch gloves and fight start. Mm. Swinging it. He's not throwing anything but hooks. People like that, you know, they just. Well, there was Superman punch in there. <sighs> These are the kind of people that when you drag them into deep waters, they just they drown so hard. It's. And they're the kind of people that rock you too, so you gotta be real careful when you're going up against them. I mean, he's just, all he's doing is just winging hooks. What the hell? You're not gonna beat me like that, man. I mean, come on. Now, I could probably duck under one of those hooks and take him down. Yep. Pass. And mounted. Alright. Sorry. Oh, missed that one. Oh, well, we're gonna get back to mount. Side control. One, two, mount. There we go. All right, we're going to maintain mount. I know you guys would have loved to see me use this guy as a striker, but I really I really don't want to tolerate those Dude, hooks. Get right off now. me. Come on, yo. Fight over. You know, I'm losing this shit. I'm not getting away. And that's it. Let me know if you guys have used Miles Jury, Uriel Romero, and Andre Olovsky yet. And if you have, what do you think about these fighters? I think they are absolutely amazing. I think they're phenomenal. I love what EA did with them. They feel like they should feel. They feel explosive. They feel fast. They feel like fighters. They don't feel like sluggish grandmas like Hector Lombard and, and some other fighters do. So I really, really love this one. Um, uh, yeah, leave a like if you enjoyed the video, you know, as usual. Bombard the like button with punches smash it and uh i also saw that a few a few people said that they prefer my live commentary so i'm gonna do a lot more live commentaries i also enjoy doing live commentaries i'm not able to talk as much because i'm actually playing the game but live commentaries they're really fun you get to see my live reactions sometimes like you get to hear me raging and stuff but that's pretty much it for this one hope you enjoyed it and uh i'll see you guys in the next video be safe.